Hello everybody and welcome back to Podcrash. My name is Jordan and this is another build tutorial on a Nordic house, a uh, long house, whatever you want to call it. This is made by Bob is Dead, part of the uh, Podcrash build team. Took him a fair while and compared to the other tutorial, this one has a little more depth and a little more explanation uh, than the last with me discussing it as well. But basically, the very, very first one is this one just here. It's been written down, it's a bad Nordic longhouse, low detail with a small curved roof, flat design, little to no terraforming, basic interior, and pretty much serves no purpose. So as you see, the terraforming on the ground isn't too massive, the leaves are bad. On the inside, literally no uh, terraform, sorry, interior at all, just a few bunk beds in the corner, and it's quite a little small standard house. On the outside as well, not too much detail, it's pretty basic, It's it's a nice shape but yeah it's very basic so to start off he did the old uh, placing down of the blocks to get the sh general theme of it pushing it out a bit with extra blocks to kind of give it more shape like we did in the uh, stage one of the last time also then adding it uh, extra blocks on top to kind of fill it out to give it its proper shape moving on and on and on bringing on the top part and until we've got the final sort of exterior design here then he just went on to the inside of it just to make it look a little nicer and then did the uh, the finishing touches with all of the bits around the outside just to make sure that it did fit a theme and uh, try to realize what it was supposed to be but we'll move on to uh, part two moving on to stage two of this build uh, it's been written down as a good nordic house a curved roof thin flat design with not much room a basement area farm terraforming and purpose so with the terraforming it now has more purpose given that it's got a farm as well it just kind of adds to the whole build and makes it meanwhile to, to you know minecraft if you were to come across this you'd be able to benefit from it whereas the other one bit flat and a bit pooey so here's the uh, voxelin not too much very basic uh, voxel just dotting it all up and uh, obviously it can be more natural looking but this is seems to be looking more man-made than anything else so if you wander into the house it's got a little more detail on the front not not massive uh, it's basically just breaking up line of sight of different blocks uh, the, the building has a lot more um, on the sides here with uh, more of a Nordic theme on top as well it's got like the old Viking kind of uh, head, hood to it around the back which I'll show in the minute. We've got like a basement that comes out into the back. It's a really nice design, to be honest. Um, with uh, not a flat farm either, which is is really nice to look at. It's uh, on different lay layers, so it's nice to uh, work on. Obviously, not very practical for a farm, but psh, who cares? If we come inside, same kind of basic layout. Not too much um, going on. We've got a. Uh, the basement though which is the important part to this build which looks quite nice it's, it's sturdy for a little place got a lot of storage which obviously would be needed for a basement and then this is where it comes out into the back which I think is wonderful very nice touch Bob again just moving into the back doing all the stages bit by bit just to get it just right how he wants it to if you copy and paste it back and back and back this was obviously done for um, purposes of the tutorial but it just does a, gives a good, you know, step-by-step uh, step on how to actually level it all. So that's brilliant stuff. If we move on to the very last part, I mean, we had a look around this part. And it's really nice, so let's get on to uh, the next stage. So the final part of this tutorial is the Pro Nordic Longhouse. Curved roof, double levels and detailed. It's wide, it's got multi-leveled layout. Lots of room. It's been terraformed, has purpose and has an interior connecting with purpose and exterior so what reminds me quite a lot of Skyrim when you enter is it oh well, I want to say Winterfell but yeah it's Winterfell isn't it I think so I can't remember I don't know if that's on Game of Thrones and I've lost my mind anyway um, the rock has been built up with uh, Voxel Sniper a few obviously mishaps like I would change that purpose uh, myself and make it more natural looking but that's just me uh, wandering around it's got a huge amount of rock everywhere so you know it's it's been brought up a lot more from uh, the second stage which was all right but this is like a like we like he's explained a, a pro nordic house 
It's got a proper tusk kind of uh, horns on the sides. The building's a lot bigger. It's a lot wider. It's got a lot more uh, going on with it. I mean, the detail is minimalistic in this. Uh, it's more to to do with the uh, actual look of it rather than detail. Uh, obviously, a Nordic building wouldn't have a phenomenal amount seeing as it's from the time period it is. If we just head on inside of this building, though, it's got two nice doors. Now it reminds me of a tavern from uh, Skyrim. Anyone else? Anyone? 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 No, I don't know. Uh, we've got a nice little uh, swords room here with all of the stuff in uh, my jigs. Um, picture frames, item frames, whatnot. Coming into the middle, again, it is really nicely detailed with uh, interior. It's really hard to get a, a nice looking interior, in my opinion. So all of these little hang downs. It's got low, low cut roofs. Uh, you can probably actually get up here, which is pretty neat. Um, there's some chests for you know inventory space. There's loads of hay bales around, like you'd expect in that time period. I'm assuming this is some kind of wine or beer thing, and you just pull that and it goes Psh! with loads of beer. Nice lot of uh, stuff going on. It keep you busy for a while. Uh, doors as chairs. Uh, I could do it differently myself. I probably would, but for this, you know, it's like a more of a throne uh, sitting than anything else. Now, the really interesting part in this is again the uh, uh, downstairs. So you come down; it's it's a clear clear path to it. More storage, and it's a really really nice uh, underground, which is what I uh, said as well when I saw it for the very first time. It's got a lot of sort of storage space. It seems to be bigger than the upstairs as well. Goodness me, where's this going? Oh wow, nice, another nice touch. I didn't even know about that part. So yeah, if we head on under here, got loads of uh, ground. I like all of this. It's like a half rug, half um, wooden ground. It's really nice. Hay bales tied up or some kind of wooden uh, things tied down, which is a nice touch. Wood in the corner for the old winters. Winter is coming. And um, then obviously a, a pot room um, boiling. It's kind of like a generator or keeping the, the stove hot and all of that. Really cool, and this is where the guys would sleep. So downstairs from the tavern, any noise you just sprint upstairs and kill everyone. Rawr. Um, I was seeing if there is another way out, but I don't think there is. So we will head on back to the other one, which is the way out then. Do do do, and if you come outside as well, instead of it being, I want to make this because it's really nice. People don't do this. Instead of it being a uh, cobble all the way around, he's just made it break up with um some stone stairs and did I see it no no just stone stairs so it's just a nice touch you know instead of walking down and imagine it on this both sides just a bit flat it's brought the brought the map to life it's brought the build to life it just a uh, really nice touch outside as well we've got a nice big exterior um, yeah exterior uh, coming out from the back as well it's an open canopy and uh, here we've got Jordan <laughs> Jordan here Matt here and Notch, we're all having a bit of a fighting session, trying to hit the targets, which uh, is cool. That's obviously what you'd see in Nordic times, which is, you know, the Vikings and whatnot. All these uh, pillars around, which is like uh, spears and stuff to just keep the people at bay. Um, shame that the um, farming has cut away. We do know that the Nords, if anyone has watched Vikings, I have, uh, they don't really farm. That's why they went to the UK or England to actually farm. But yeah, I mean, a, a farm here would be really nice or some kind of touch with water or something like that. But I mean, obviously every build can have its downfalls and you do need to constantly work on something. If, you know, if you wanted something to be perfect, you'd be spending months on it. I mean, this build is really nice for what it is. But like I said, you know, things can be upgraded. Things do need some uh, change. And I mean, what I would do here as well, uh, it's just myself if I can find it. I can't even remember where it is. Uh, uh, type it in bone meal I'd get some bone meal here uh, I hate doing that, it's so annoying and uh, I'd right click, I'd get some uh, bone meal going here, just you know liven it up a little bit, get rid of those stupid things and uh, oh, forget that and then when you're walking up, you know, it's, it's like it's been uh, man made, but also there's still some uh, grass growing, it would just bring it more to life, so that's what I would do to add more I again, I'd put the uh, farm at the back if you just want to have a look for um, your own sake, you can see the layout here. This is where the uh, house building would be, the um, table, sorry. And uh, it's a really complex uh, one compared to the others. 
moving over the structure being built up really nice fancy stuff uh, what would be difficult with this which you would probably require going on Google Maps to get some kind of Google images sorry to get some kind of image up is how much it goes up by to give it its shape it's just more of a time consuming than anything else really getting it uh, symmetrical and whatnot whipping on these as well uh, it's brown wool isn't it yeah good just to check in uh, that's gonna need a lot of time as well because punching that one out it's not symmetrical to that one you can take ages just looking on either side trust me it gets mental sometimes um, over here as well then the uh, walls have been started to put, be put in so uh, to keep it like you know less flat you've got breaking up with stairs and things which uh, again you could literally just make it so it'd be a flat building like like that and uh, like that and it doesn't add anything to it so again really uh, well played on the uh, that perspective anyway uh, coming over here just been uh, buffed out a little more as well uh, the interior is still not done that's the final stage when it's been placed in position but uh, all of the tops have been put on it and it's just coming from the shell of the building to give or take a finalized building so really really good um, again if you guys like this uh, episode give it a like thumbs it up comment below as well on what you need to see more of uh, what you need to change within the series because I don't know if I'm giving good tips or I'm just showing over a build so I need to know if people want a detailed complex understanding of how to do individual things or they just want to see me fly over and critique and give you know good uh, analysis on whatnot just leave it in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video guys